Alright guys, it's Alina here and today I'm going to be doing the 3 month review of the Apple AirPods 2 and telling you should you upgrade to these ones or if you don't already have them, should you get them? Or if you don't even have any AirPods or any earphones, should you get these anyways? So this is my Apple AirPods 2 3 month review. Let's get into it. One of the new features that these Apple AirPods 2 offer is they have the Hey Siri always on. So if your phone has Hey Siri always on, it follows your phone settings just to let you know. So if your phone Siri is always on and you can just say Hey Siri on your phone, they also have now Hey Siri on your AirPods. So you just put them in and you can say Hey Siri and the Siri application will turn on your phone and you can just say blah 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 and talk into it, whatever. On the older AirPods, the generation one, it doesn't have it. You just have to double tap and then Siri will turn on. To be honest, I never found myself using Siri anyway. I hate using voice activated stuff where you have to like talk into it and say, hey, what's 5 times 10 or where can I find the nearest shop? I'd much rather just Google it myself. So I've never found myself using that in the beginning. The next thing that this AirPod generation, blah, 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 whatever it is, offers is they have the H1 chip wireless instead of the W1 chip in the older AirPods. So what this gives you is one hour of extra talk time if you're talking to someone on the phone and it also gives you 30% less latency so if you're listening let's say to a video and you can see the mouse moving and if it's like matching if the, vo if the rec audio of them talking matches their mouth like the way they're speaking and it's not and it's, everything is in sync then that means it's because of the less latency and you won't see that kind of issue happening on these AirPods. I've used the older ones, I have to say, and I watch many YouTube videos, many movies on my phone, episodes, blah, 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 whatever you guys are watching, porn, blah, whatever you guys are into, um, and I never noticed any desyncing or voices not matching, one matching, or anything that people claim like that. So I've never experienced that before, maybe some people have, but personally, never. Because this wireless chip is upgraded from the W1 to the H1, you're going to get better audio quality and better voice quality. So if you're talking to someone on the phone, they're going to be able to hear you much clearer, more sound, there's going to be less noise in the background, and they're also going to be able to be able to tell what you're saying more correctly just because of that. Their audio is already improved a little bit. That's what they say because of the chip. So if the Bluetooth is improved technically the audio should be improved because it's going via Bluetooth connection to the phone and the audio is running through Bluetooth so that's what the AirPods are offering I use the older AirPods here again they sound exactly the same to be frank so I don't know why anyone would say that the audio and voice quality is improved I've used these ones the whole time for three months I've been using them pretty frequently three times a week four times a week and just listening for a long time, like maybe one hour, two hours, and then it's exactly the same as the old AirPods. Like, I don't have the old AirPods, but I borrowed them from my friend, and yeah, it sounds exactly the same pretty much. So that's a disappointment. I expected Apple to change the design of the AirPods. I expected them to add maybe noise can cancellation to the AirPods. So you put them inside of your ear like this. And then bam, you will be able to hear less background noise. But now, nah, I'm still wearing them. And for example, if I'm walking in the streets, the background noise of the vehicles and the cars is still really loud. And if I'm in the same room as my girlfriend, and let's say she's watching something on the TV and I want to put my AirPods in and listen to something, I can still hear the background of the TV. So it kind of meddles with the music that I'm listening to and it makes it less enjoyable. So I would have expected Apple to add that for generation 2 since it's been such a big gap between the first generation and the second generation. Next, the one thing I also want to mention is when I watched the Apple AirPods 2 reviews when it first came out from other reviewers, everyone says that the light, as you can see, on the inside to show that it's charging or if it's out of charge is on the outside and they don't specifically mention that it's on the outside on the wireless case only. So when I bought these AirPods, I looked at the charging case and I was like, where's the light? I, I actually got confused and I had to look at the serial number because I thought I got the first generation AirPods. And I thought, hey, they swindled me. I didn't get the correct ones. I paid money because the first generation are cheaper than the second generation when they come out, but they're, exact same, but they're the exact same price when they both came out, if that makes sense. So yeah, I thought, oh crap, look at that. It doesn't have the charging light outside. I must have been the third generation. But no, I looked it up and only 
the wireless charging case has the light on the outside, which I think is really stupid. Like, even though I'm using a cable, I still want to know if it's charging on the outside and not on the inside. Like, I don't have to open up the case every single time to see, oh, it's charging, oh, it's charging. It's just ridiculous, to be honest. Since these are my first AirPods that I've ever owned, and I've been using them for three months, I'm not going to say heavily, but definitely not light, just moderately. I've been using them, I've been listening to music, I've been watching movies, I've been watching episodes, animations, um, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, that, that, that kind of stuff, and I can say the sound is really good. So the AirPods definitely sound better than the normal Apple earphones that they give you with the cord. So that's a definite, that's, that's just guaranteed. The sound is better. Are they better than the first AirPods? No, I wouldn't say so. The only thing important to you that should be even mentioned is the one hour of talking time. So let's say you're running a business and like you always talk to people and you use your phone a lot and the AirPods are kind of connected in your ear and you always talk like to the AirPods instead of through your phone and holding it. Then yeah, I can say one hour is a big improvement, but I don't think anyone is going to be doing that to be honest. And it wouldn't. It's not a worth a two hundred and fifty dollar upgrades to the AirPods, AirPods 2, it just isn't, like if you have the first ones, stick to the first ones, and just, yeah, because these ones aren't better, they're not, like, hey Siri, I don't think many people use hey Siri in general, like voice activation and voice help, I don't personally use it, if you use it, then yeah, I guess so, but you can just double tap the ear, like, the updates are very minuscule, the biggest update I have to say is the wireless chip, and the upgrade from Bluetooth 4.2 to 5.0. That's it. Other than that, the AirPods 2 are, I'd say they're AirPods generation 1.5. And that's being generous. They're actually like a 1.2. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my review of the AirPods 2. And my final answer is no. You should not upgrade to the AirPods 2 if you already have the AirPods 1. You should only buy these if you don't have any AirPods or any wireless earphones at all because whatever you have right now is probably doing the same thing just as these. And if you have an Apple device, then I guess maybe you should upgrade this so you can be the ecosystem and then that way it makes easier connectivity between devices and faster. Because you just open the lid, put your phone next to it like that, and then it connects to the phone. So it's pretty good. It's seamless. It's amazing. So yeah. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching this review and I hope you like, comment and subscribe and look out for my next video. Thank you very much.